Hi, I'm David Saffer with Datacolor, and I'm here to introduce the latest addition to the Datacolor Toolbox, the new Spider Checker 24 for camera color correction for photo and video. The Spider Checker 24 helps you capture very consistent color from day to day and from camera to camera. And that's particularly important if you've built a set with multiple camera, camera bodies, etc. And you can apply these results easily in your workflow with software such as Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Hasselblad Focus, and DaVinci Resolve 11. It's a very portable design. It has 24 spectrally engineered color patches, which means it performs well in almost any lighting condition, plus easy to use calibration software. That makes post-production quicker by giving you consistent predictable color from your capture devices right from the start. It takes a little bit of practice, but workflow is simple. Just photograph the color face of the Spider Checker 24, making sure it's evenly lit. Import that image into a supported image editor for basic adjustments. Open the image in the Spider Checker software and then export the HSL preset. You can apply this preset during image import or editing. The software analyzes the capture target for a particular camera and lens combination. And this is important because each camera and lens combination has its own color signature. It compares this information to the known values for each color patch on the target. It uses this analysis to create a calibration that will adjust the values for hue, saturation, and luminance in the supported editing application. The Spider Checker 24 allows you to color correct your capture in Adobe Photoshop Camera Raw, Adobe Lightroom, Hasselblad Focus, and Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve 11. There's also a gray face which provides in-camera and post-process white balance and exposure adjustment. A summary of intended uses as a camera calibration tool with the Spider Checker software, as an in-camera white balance tool for still in motion, as a reference target for catalog work, fine art reproduction, and all photo and motion capture. And it's a key element in capture to output color workflow. Potential users include still photographers, still photographers transitioning to video, videographers and cinematographers, video editors and colorists, DITs and DPs. What comes in the box? The Spider Checker 24 card, the Spider Checker 24 slip cover, and the Spider Checker 24 serial number. The software and the quick start guide are downloadable via these URLs. The system requirements, your camera, preferably one that supports raw capture, Windows 7 32 and 64 bit, Windows 8 32 and 64 bit, or Mac OS X 10.7 or higher, 128 megabytes of available RAM, 100 megabytes of available disk space. For still imaging, Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop or Hasselblad Focus. For video, Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop or DaVinci Resolve 11. I'm going to briefly review some of the features and benefits of Spider Checker 24, but I also want to point out these cameras on the right. They're there for a reason. The Spider Checker 24 will work with a very wide range of camera lens combinations, and that's important because each camera lens combination has its own unique color signature. And this is true whether you're using one camera for still photography or if you're using multiple cameras for video production. So you can normalize color between all these different types of cameras, which will really expedite and streamline your workflow in post-production. Now, a few points from these slides. The Spider Checker 24 has many of the same features and benefits of its larger sibling. It simply uses 24 patches rather than 48. It enables the user to easily and quickly create custom camera calibrations that compensate for the characteristics of optics and sensors. It can be used for individual cameras and used to normalize color among different cameras being used on set for still and video work. This streamlines post-production and gives more effective color control throughout a project. The flip side and the gray target on the Spider Checker 24 can be used as a tool for in-camera white balance and the color patches can be used as a reference target in areas like product photography and fine art reproduction. 
The Spider Checker 24 software is integrated with the 48 patch Spider Checker software, which facilitates the learning curves and integrates workflow. The patches in Spider Checker 24 are composed of pigment based colors with carefully formulated spectral characteristics. It also has a matte surface, which is ideal for camera calibration in varying lighting conditions. The Spider Checker also provides spectrally neutral black, white, and gray patches. And these patches are durable and they're produced to very close tolerances. A Spider Checker 24, which sees only moderate usage, will last pretty much indefinitely. The color patches on the Spider Checker 24 represent standard 24 colors used in a variety of color products. These patches are near or within the sRGB color gamut to avoid gamut clipping. This assures usability with a wide range of capture, display, and output devices. The Spider Checker 24 uses DataColor's award-winning software that delivers robust HSL calibration. This provides 24-point color control. Just compare this to the 3 to 6 point control offered by other systems. We'll get into a detailed description of operating the software in a moment. I wanted to make a couple of points about setup. When you first open the Spider Checker software, you will see this message. This is an indication that you can switch between the 24 and 48 patch target modes in Spider Checker Preferences. If you open Spider Checker Preferences, you'll see this screen. At the bottom, you can switch between Spider Checker 48 and 24 patch mode. You can also choose the destination for your presets for each of your imaging editing applications. This is what the Spider Checker software screen will look like when you select the 24 patch Spider Checker mode. Here's some setup tips for Hasselblad Focus. In the upper menu, go to the Focus, Preferences, General, Image Editor, Select. Navigate to and select the Spider Checker app in the Spider Checker folder in your Data Color folder. This is found in the Applications folder in Macintosh or in the Programs Data Color folder in Windows. To use the Spider Checker plugin with Focus, set the Focus Image Editor preference to the Spider Checker application in the Data Color folder. Spider Checker Workflow What you will be doing Creating a properly exposed capture of the Spider Checker 24 performing basic editing on that capture, and using that capture to create a color correction preset for Lightroom, Photoshop, or Hasselblad Focus, or import directly into DaVinci Resolve 11. What you will need. You will need the Spider Checker 24 target with the color faces exposed, the Spider Checker software installed on your computer, activated with the Spider Checker serial number included with the product one or more cameras that shoot stills or video, an application that supports HSL presets for raw files, such as Adobe Photoshop CS or CC, which include Adobe Camera Raw, or Adobe Lightroom, Hasselblad Focus, or DaVinci Resolve 11. A single light on a standard support at 45 degrees to the target. You can also use daylight provided that the target is evenly lit a table, stand, or easel, and a bubble level for the camera. Set up the camera or camera and lens to calibrate perpendicular to the target. And by this I mean that the camera sensor, the plane of the sensor, and the plane of the target are parallel. Take a raw image, which is preferred, of the target. Import it into your image processor and crop, balance, and adjust per our product instructions export or trigger the Spider Checker software and process into a preset for Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom, or Focus. Here's a tip for Lightroom. Set preferences to save presets separately from your catalogs. You can also use the color panel side as a color reference chart. And you can use Spider Checker for in-camera white balance. Use the flip side gray target panels. More on this later. Continuing with workflow, open the target shot, download your target shot and open in Lightroom or Camera Raw or Focus as you would any raw image. Adjusting the target shot. Cropping is done with Lightroom, Focus or ACR's crop tool. For the spider checker, crop to inside the black border with no background showing beyond the target. Use the rotation function of the crop tool to straighten the target image. 
Any of the light or medium gray patches can be used to gray balance, white balance your image in Lightroom, Photoshop, or Camera Raw. The 20% gray patch is recommended. Use the white balance eyedropper tool in Lightroom's develop mode or from the upper tool palette in Adobe Camera Raw. Click on the desired gray patch. Next, look at the RGB values or percentages of the white patch. Adjust the exposure slider until the white patch lists as approximately 90% in Lightroom or about RGB 230, 230, 230 in Adobe Camera Raw. If you are using Adobe Camera Raw, select the color sampler tool and place a sampler target on the white patch. Adjust exposure so that the sample reads RGB 230. If you are using Hasselblad Focus, mouse over the white patch to read and adjust to 230. Next, check the black patch. The blacks adjustment, or in some cases the shadows adjustment, is used to set the black value to 4% in Lightroom or RGB Average 10 in Adobe Camera Raw. If the value is below this level, it may be best to leave it a shot or reshoot with brighter illumination. In focus, measure and adjust to RGB Average 10. If needed, crop and rotate the image to contain only the spider checker target. Confirm your selection with a click on the tool icon. You can export the image in TIFF format and 16-bit color depth, or click on Open in Image Editor to open the resulting file directly in the Spider Checker software. If you are using Adobe Camera Raw, you will need to save the image to the desktop or some other appropriate location. Save as a TIFF file in Adobe RGB. Focus also allows direct triggering of the Spider Checker app if pre-configured as an editing app. Spider Checker will auto-launch if you have set it up correctly in Lightroom and will open with your target image already imported into the Spider Checker application. Choose Edit a Copy with Lightroom Presets to assure that your white balance and exposure adjustments are included in the exported file. For Adobe Camera Raw, go to the Spider Checker Applications folder, double-click on the Spider Checker app, and it will launch itself. Now, drag your target file from the desktop into Spider Checker to import. You can also use the open command from the menu. If you captured your image and cropped appropriately, the sampling square should already be placed within the correct patches of your target shot. If not, you can drag on any edge or corner of the image area to adjust the fit. Next in this panel, select your rendering intent. Usually this will be colorimetric. Once you have reviewed the location and orientation of the target image, Click on the Save Calibration to button and your calibration corrections will be calculated. You will have selected Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom, or Focus in advance and will now be prompted to name your new calibration preset. This should include the name of the camera and might include other data such as light source or lens used. Using your new calibration, relaunch Lightroom, Focus, or Adobe Camera Raw. Your calibration data will not be available to you until you quit and restart these programs. Select an image shot with the same camera or camera and lens combination. Apply your preset from the user presets list in the develop mode of Lightroom or from load settings in the pop-down menu to the right of the mode name in Adobe Camera Raw. This can be applied to multiple images. Here's some additional information about using white balance in your workflow. At a basic level, any of the light or medium gray patches can be used to gray balance or white balance your image in Lightroom, Focus, or Adobe Camera Raw. The 20% gray patch is recommended. Use the white balance eyedropper tool in Lightroom's develop module or from the upper tool palette in Adobe Camera Raw. Click on the desired gray patch. You can also use the gray panel side of the Spider Checker 24 for custom in-camera white balance. Use the camera's built-in custom white balance tool for this, which is accessed through a button on the camera or an LCD menu. This varies from camera to camera. This offers an improved preview on your LCD, and it is an easy way to help normalize color between cameras. Reset this calibration for each lighting situation. The resulting preset can then be applied to a still image, and by selecting that still image and one or more video clips, the Sync Settings button can then be used to apply the color corrections to video clips. The dialog box shown below will appear, showing which of the Lightroom development settings might be applied to video. Be sure the Color Adjustments box is checked so that the HSL adjustments from Spider Checker 
will be applied to the video clips. Once the clips have been color corrected for the camera they have been shot with, they can be exported from Lightroom for processing and any other video editing application you use. Be sure to check the Include Video Files checkbox. The next few slides contain excerpts from our Frequently Asked Questions document regarding the Spider Checker 24. Please pause this presentation to read each slide as needed. You can see the entire FAQ on our website at spider.datacolor.com. Wrapping up this presentation, the Spider Checker 24 is the newest addition to the Data Color Toolbox for still photography and videography. Spider Checker 24 helps you capture consistent color from day to day and from camera to camera and apply these results easily in your workflow with software such as Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Hasselblad Focus, and DaVinci Resolve 11. This is a thin, sturdy, portable design. It has 24 spectrally engineered color patches plus easy to use calibration software, making post-production quicker by getting consistent predictable color from your capture devices right from the start. Spider Checker 24 outperforms competition in its offering color patch and gray targets and in software features and output quality. Learn more at spider.datacolor.com.